Hey everyone, Voltage here. Welcome back to more Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> so, have you ever had that situation where you uh, you kind of like the girl, but you, you don't know if you should because you also like another girl, and like, do we friends? Just zone? pretend. Just pretend you're Patrick. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Should we should we do that? Should we? But should we friends on Sayori? Always or should we be my dearest friend. Should we friends on Sayori? I don't know. Should we flip a coin? Okay, yeah, let's do it. All right. All right, let me um, grab a coin real yeah. quick. Hold on. Oh, no. This is actually difficult, because, like, I don't know. We just spent a nice, nice, fun afternoon with Yuri, and now here we are telling Sayori. I think if we tell her I love you, they're just going to make it even worse for her. Hold on, hold on. All right, so I got my coin. So Heads as I love you, tails as you always be my dearest friend. All right. I'm going to flip it. Flip three. It. Two, one, and it is heads. All right. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Those are my true feelings. So there's no way you could like me any more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone else at the club, making new friends, having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day, with you by my side. Probably, you should probably explain that, uh... You should probably talk to Yuri about that. You Yuri know? was being a weirdo. Yeah. Then and then we'll both be happy. Volta! Oh! Look at Hug! The, look at that sonic boom right there. Sonic boom! She has a really tiny neck. Holy shit. <laughs> I could just grab it in my hand and just... One, one hand! <laughs> one hand! Also, one this, hand that's what I look like? <laughs> Suddenly, Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. That's a much better... drawing. <laughs> yeah. Volta! Is this... really okay? Yeah. Yeah. I hold Sayori Sorry. in my arms. We're both teenagers. Pulled her we're, all, we're both fucking stupid and... nothing's okay. <laughs> You'll never have to let go of me again. Ever. I love you, Volta! I want to be with you forever. Me too. Forever? I feel Sari's grip around me weakening. Forever? <laughs> what is this? Sorry. I'm supposed to be happy right now. But I'm just sad. I always thought this would be the happiest why? moment. But why? Even now. Why won't the rain clouds go away? Well, because I have a chemical imbalance and I should really be on some sort of medication, but I've been neglecting it all my life. Mm. They're not going away at all, Volta. It's the rain okay, clouds Sayori. are still there. I can see them. It might take they look some time. like a sonic boom. <laughs> Sorry, those are just the clouds. <laughs> it might take those some time for clouds. things to be better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. You know, oh shoot, you really shouldn't tell, like, an emotionally unstable person that you love them. <laughs> oh, okay! I trust you. Oh, man. We gotta figure out what the fuck Monica's been telling her. Hey, Sorry she, and I... she grew some teeth. She did! Look at her. <laughs> Sorry and I slowly release each other. So, so, I guess that makes the festival tomorrow our first date, huh? You know what we should do instead of doing that for our first date? We should go to the doctor's office right yeah. now. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it's always been. Well, it's too late for that, Sayori. Even if we really are a couple. A couple of a literature pair. club people. <laughs> even, if we were, even if we're a fruit. I don't know if I can handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I I'm kind of a scaredy cat. Everything kind of scares me. I don't know why. We'll go with whatever pace suits you best. Oh, I lost my coin. Hey, Volta. Yeah? Sari gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad, this is the best thing for me, right? 
No, the best thing for you huh? would be to go to the doctor, uh, go yeah. to a psychiatrist. Stop it. Get some help. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah. Listen to Michael Jordan. <laughs> I don't. He really, knows. <laughs> I don't really understand what Sari means by that. Are you saying that making this making you feel sad, Sari? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. I'm just sad always. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm feeling. It felt like a bunch of thorns when you told me you loved me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I do. That's my promise. He doesn't, though. I say that, but in reality, I've never been felt more uncertainty when it comes to Sayori. Especially because I know that I love her and she loves me and I also love Yuri. <laughs> Maybe we can find a way to have multiple friends, because this is a harem anime. Hmm. Isn't there an option where we can all get married and I can give them each my dick in turn? Yeah, I'm having much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is, even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori really meant by not wanting anything to change? But for now, I'm just know. going to leave her alone, you know, I'm not going to spend the night with her or anything. But I know I'll give it everything not a I've good got. Idea. Tomorrow! Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to make have a happy future with her. All right. Guess Except do anything it. smart, because I'm an idiot. One it's day later, festival. it's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But, but Sayori isn't here. answering her phone. I considered going to wake her up, but I decided that's a little too much. Yeah. But I decided I'm an idiot. Yep. <laughs> Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should nearly be complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is dry. I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. But I totally forgot to get my girlfriend now. Yeah. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. Together. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great, too. <laughs> Volta! So, you're the first one here. No, you're the first one here, Monica. Thanks for being early. She actually just lives at the school. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. She sleeps in her desk. Yeah. That's why her back's all fucked up. Right. <laughs> Monica's placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online and I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one in I'll the be end, performing. I was really lazy and I didn't actually make my own poems. Yeah, my poem goes The Tingo Skra Pot 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 Skibidi Pot Pot and a Purum Purum Boom. I hope they like it. Yeah, don't know. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sari with you. What's wrong with you? You just confessed her love. Yesterday. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on this day, it's important she'd try a little harder. I say that, but I remember suddenly remember what Sarah told me yesterday. I For some feel... reason, I forgot that she told me that she was super depressed and I told her that I loved her. Right. And suddenly, I feel awful knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should but... have gone to wake her up after all. Maybe I'm just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ari. He's my favorite. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Volta. After all, you told her you loved her. Especially, I mean, after, especially after your exchange with How her yesterday. How do you know about that, Monica? You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. <laughs> what? How did what? Exchange? Exchange? Monica. Oh, you, you knew about, about us giving each other bitcoins? <laughs> oh. Of course of I do. Of course I do. I know everything. I'm, I'm secretly club. God, you know. I'm the club president after all. I told you how to save the fucking game. But I can see into the fourth wall. I, I can stammer. see into the fourth dimension. I stammer, <laughs> embarrassed. Did Sari tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. Jeez. You don't know the Jeez story Louise, at all, so. Monica. Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill go down my spine after hearing that. For some reason, I think that she might actually know. 
that okay. this is a visual. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'll say this again, that I know, like, nothing about this game, so... I have no idea, but, like, this just feels really weird, especially with the lack of music and shit. Dude, it's weird. Dude, I don't have any music on my end, so I never noticed that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, I know, but it's like, ooh, I don't know. Oh, spooky. They came out, they really, came out nice. really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh, yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help out people take the club more seriously. Doki Doki Literature Club, where everybody has some sort of weird mental problem. <laughs> yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's, one, three, that's three quick, quick maths. <laughs> Everyday man's on the block. Smoke trees. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the other ones they perform from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Let's read it. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> get out of my head, 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 Get out, get out of, of my, my head aunt. before I know what is best for you. Get out of my head before I listen to everything she said to me. Get out of my head before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Fuck, dude. Uh, uh oh. What uh, is this? Reading uh, this poem, I get a pit uh, in my stomach. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh dear. Valta? What's wrong? Maybe you should go check on Sayeri. Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah. Uh, well, alright. Don't take too long. Okay. I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself! Monica calls out that out after me. I quicken my pace. Oh no. I what really... was I thinking? I should have tried. Her a, up. I should have tried a little harder. It's harder for. Should have spent the night with her. I should have had her visit a doctor last night. <laughs> it's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture of walking her to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and what I want to give her. Yes, that's all she needs. Surely. Yep. I reached. Also, this is just the protagonist's the house. I know. They live together. I don't expect an answer, <laughs> yeah, since she's same, not picking up her phone room. either. And she doesn't live with any parents. I mean, like, adults are just pointless in this world. Like, Actually, yesterday, yeah. I open the door no and room. let myself in. I sneak in like I'm Solid Snake. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. Can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking a up sparrow. her up in her own house. <laughs> that is really something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case. In any case. It just feels right. I slowly open the door. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Knock, knock, knock. Come in! Sayori? Wake up, dummy. Don't come in! There's no response. <laughs> She's been <laughs> masturbating the whole morning. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I I'm coming in! Open the door. Say, oh, okay. Well, she's oh. done. Oh. That... Oh. That is unfortunate. R.I.P. Sayuri. Remember, <laughs> kids. If you're what? feeling depressed or suicidal, you can't help. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Go see a doctor. Uh, okay. This uh. Go see a psychiatrist. Oh. Make sure you take your antidepressants. All right. Go. Click. I'm listening button. to the. I'm listening to the music. What the hell? No. What the hell? <laughs> is this a nightmare? It, it has to be. Is this, this a video real? game? There's no way this can be real. Sorry, it wouldn't do this. Everything Even was normal she just up told until a few days ago. She was super depressed. No, dude. The only reason she did this is because we started playing the game. If you die in the game, you die in real life. Didn't you know that? Fuck, dude, I can't believe that. Sayori's dead in real life now. <laughs> no! 
I should have saved her! <laughs> That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Huh. I suppressed I the suppressed urge to vomit. I vomit anyway. <laughs> Just yesterday, I told Shari I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Turns then, out I'm a why? fucking idiot. Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What Maybe it's because I'm an idiot wrong. and I didn't make any confessing to her. I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what she needed at all. Spoiler alert, she does it either way. So Does she really? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Even She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then There's why did I confess to, to her and death. make her feel worse? Why was why I so, was selfish? I so selfish? selfish? This is all my fault. Why was I such a shellfish? Why was I such a dumbass? My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it has always been, then I could have prevented this. But instead nah. she made me join this fucking literature club with all these psychos. All that I, psycho stuff. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. I'm joining I'm the going math home. club. <laughs> <laughs> Screw the festival. I better I just, call the call an ambulance. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Not unless I load my last save. <laughs> Nothing Try it, I dare you. No, I don't want to. I wanna keep going, <laughs> I wanna see where this goes. Nothing I can do can bring her back. This, this isn't, isn't some, some game, game where I can reset and try something different. Oh, Shut up. is it now, game? Shut up, writer. I only Who's have the one guy chance wrote this I game? careful. I don't know. And now I'll be carrying this guilt with me up. until I die. Nothing in my now life can... is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. And now she's never. dead. This game is literally telling me to load from my last save. Like, literally, from Monica telling me to, like, right, save the it. game between, like, the big point, and then, like, making, giving that big thing, and then now this, they're like, never, 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 Fuck never. you, Dan Salvato. End? Oh. End. Huh. The end. I guess that's the end of the game. Well. Oh. Oh. Monica, uh -oh. what are you doing there? No, it's a mixture. It's Monica and Yuri and Natsuki. Okay. But Sayori is gone. And the new game is... Uh, Start it. Do it. New game? new game? Yeah. Oh, no. Can I get help? Oh, no, new game. Help. Yeah, help. <laughs> oh. Oh, browser. <laughs> <laughs> it opens something my browser. <laughs> Alright, what's it say? Uh, I, I, did, I closed it out. Just okay. Just at multiple monitors. Uh, yeah, probably. I wish I did. Yeah, I wish I did my, too. My desk isn't big enough for it, though. Yeah, I think. Uh, hmm. should we, what should we do? Should we do the load new game? game? New game. Load the game. Yeah. Okay. Fine. No. Let's, Try it. Let's go new game. <laughs> I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you know each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep and get more frequently, and, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like that, I almost feel better off running away. I just sigh I idle in front of the crosswalk and like, blah, 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 catch up to me. Nice. Cool. Spooky. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. But now I'm a lonely fuck. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content by getting on the average, by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Hey, that's me. <laughs> There's always the anime club, but it's not like there'd be any girls in it anyway. You don't know that. The school day is, or the classroom looks different. The school day is, or yeah. Oh yeah, it's a different angle. School day is ordinary as ever and over before I know it. I pack up my things and stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce Stop of motivation. Burping, you fuck. Clubs. That suck. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most right. of them would probably be too demanding for me to deal so with. Since, since Sayuri is dead and gone, should I be someone else now in lieu of her? Uh, yeah, you could be Yuri. I'll be Yuri, okay. Cool. Yeah. Since I have no choice but to start with the anime club... Volta? Oh, hello. 
Monica? Oh um, my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Don't you notice how well my breasts have developed since we were in grade school together? Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. She's probably writing this now as we speak. Basically, completely <laughs> out of my league. So, but I know she's got a like, crush on me. So it generally feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Uh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Why are you feeling her face? <laughs> or markers? Is this a bow? I don't know what this is. I guess you could check the closet. Yeah, it's a bow. It's a bow for her uh, ponytail. Yeah. You're in the debate club, right? Ahaha, <laughs> about that. See? I actually quit the debate club. <laughs> really? You quit? Yeah, it sucked. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Or politics in general. Yeah, dude. Fuck that's the why government. That's why I'm not in the debate club anymore, because that's what it always was. Debates, was they were the worst. <laughs> it feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. It sucked. I'd much rather do something fun, like write poems. In that case, in that case, you decide to join? Actually, Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Hey, thanks, screen. A literature? Literature? That sounds kind of dull. Poems aren't really literature, you know. How many members do you have so far? Why don't you just call it a yeah, poetry club? How many people are in the do. literature club, Monica? Um, Tell me. It's just me and you, and we had one, but she's erased from existence now. It's kind of embarrassing. There are only three of us so far. It's three, really hard huh? to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. It's like a psychedelic murder trip. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry... Not really. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club. Manga's not literature. Look at this Wait, fucking really? smug-ass face I'm making. Yeah, it's funny, right? What a retard. <laughs> she always insists that manga is literature, too. She's dumb. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. She is, though. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hmm. Hey, Valta. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? Nah, why thanks. Don't you join, I'm good. Why don't you join our harem? Uh, we don't have a guy yet. I mean, I guess so, so but... Over. In that case... Is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but... Would you, uh, just, uh, do a little reach around for me? <laughs> you could no. at least visit my club. It would make me really happy. So, so why, why, so Sayori just doesn't exist in this world now. Yeet. Yeah, she just got erased. Erased from existence. From existence. Yeah. She's gone forever now. Bye. More like Biori, am I right? Uh, yeah. Bye. Um, Bye, Felicia. Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica, the greatest queen of the entire planet? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> you're, ah, you're awesome! <laughs> yeah, really sweet, Valtai, you know that? Boy, it's you would have really. made a great boyfriend for someone named Sayuri. I mean, <laughs> shall, shall we go, go then? <laughs> I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important to me. <gasps> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica after and her irresistible smile. Jesus Christ, writing. I typically I follow Monica. I sold my across, soul to the devil. Across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. I'm only a second year. And Monica, full of energy, swings the open the classroom door. And everything dies. Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh, that was spooky. Yeah, that was. I'm back. Tildy. And being spooky. Spooky. And I brought a guest with me. Oh, let's see what, what madness. Oh, great. Uh -huh. You just... Girl one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A guest? Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. <laughs> Don't be mean, Natsuki. It's already spooky enough here. But anyway, welcome to the club, Balta. Uh, 
All words escape me in this situation. This club. Like, I feel like there's someone missing. It's I like think, I think Mario's missing happening. from this club. Because Mario's got... missing. <laughs> Better call Luigi. <laughs> Wait, no. Who is Sayori? Wait, what? Because uh, we give Peach, Toad, Luigi. Where's oh. Where's Mario? <laughs> yeah. Is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> so let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? What? No, yes. I'm not. Yes. Monica should react to that, because clearly she wants the D. Nani! Natsuki? The girl with a sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yeri, the vice president. No, where's Sayori, the vice president? Uh, she's not here. Yeah. Hey. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So I ran into Volta in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. She held me at gunpoint, guys. Help me out. <laughs> Isn't that great? She held me at knife point. She borrowed one from Yuri. Wait, Monica. Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance if you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know... Sorry, sorry, I forgot you wanted to clean on your manga collection. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. I also told him that you'd like to read manga like a weirdo. Fucking... In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? <laughs> yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Volta? The girls have a few desks arranged in the back to form a table. Yuri the walks in the corner of room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki about sit across the chaos from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming up here. But we'll make sure you get the you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club of the United States of America, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Yeah, I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. I thought there were four. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. <laughs> also, um, we had a member, but she totally got erased from existence. No, 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 this is like a total joke with like the whole format of a game. Especially when it's Especially something when like it's that something... doesn't grab your attention like literature, like a, like a visual novel, for example. Yeah, they're lame. They have to, you have to work work. hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. Fuck off, game. Stop being meta. Yeah, fucking Dan Salvato. Yep, that's the guy who made the game. Got it. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in the front of us, setting the teapot down in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this room? Don't worry. The teachers give us permission. <laughs> trying to do an Obama voice, but it's not working too well. <laughs> After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you really After enjoy all, a good book? I'm, I'm thinking like Hank Hill, like, After all, doesn't a hot yeah. cup of tea help you enjoy a good book, <laughs> Bobby? After all, doesn't a nice propane I tell you what, steak? <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess. Hey, 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 don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Huh? Blah! Blah! That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away with her crater I mean face. that, you know... I believe... Oh, that's you. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yeah, because I like Yuri. Yuri smiles, faintly smiles to herself in relief. You like Yuri? You, you pervert. Fuck off. <laughs> so, Volta, what kind of things do you like to read? I like to read manuals well, about propanes and grills. Yeah, I, I really like uh, instructional manuals on how to build things. 
Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. I read manga. Magna. <laughs> Magna Carta. <laughs> I, I read muttered to myself Magna Carta. quietly, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks manga. like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Natsuki. <laughs> no, no, not much of a reader, I guess. <laughs> well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Oh. Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex propane grills. <laughs> <laughs> the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind a propane grill is amazing to me. Alright. <laughs> and telling a good grill in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, deeply passionate about her grilling. <laughs> she seems so reserved and timid the moment I walked in, but it's obvious the way her eyes light up when she finds cover in the world of grills and, ch and propane, not people. <laughs> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Fuck off, metagame. Fuck off, Dan. <laughs> yeah, fuck off, Stop Dan. Stop collating yourself, Dan. <laughs> anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Yeah, uh, I read a horror book once. I read Junji Ito. <laughs> I read uh, The Amigara Fault. I also read Uzumaki when I was reading and studying for a chemistry exam. That was the best chemistry exam I ever had. That's good. <laughs> it's meant to be a throwback to a previous thing, because we've seen this before. I know, and we already talked about Junji Ito. <laughs> At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. You're a fucking weirdo, and the books you like are weird. Oh, is that so? Really, if the story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can't, really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Fuck off, Just man. like a nice, medium-rare grilled steak made uh, on a propane grill. I grade. hate horror. Oh, why is that? Should I continue with the Hank Hill voice? No, or just something please else? don't. All right. <laughs> Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right. You usually like to write about things, don't you, Natsuki? What? <laughs> what gives you, you that Natsuki? idea? You... you left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It was all about puppies. Looks like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. 57 ways to give that back. your puppy. Fine, fine. Tildy. Natsuki, you, you write your own poems? Natsuki's got a little fang. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> like, uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. No. Natsuki averts her eyes. No. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like them. You're right, uh, I wouldn't. <laughs> not a very confident writer yet? I don't like reading. <laughs> um, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just confidence. <laughs> That's a bad Homer Simpson impression. <laughs> Birds, the Birds. truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Mm, Homer! Homer! Homer. <laughs> <laughs> wow! You must be reading to. Now it just sounds like the sweetest shift. <laughs> you must God, be reading to. God damn it, Matt. Just read, read, read the fucking read, text. Read, 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 read. <laughs> Do you have any writing experience too, Yuri? No. Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Mm. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Permitica. <laughs> hey, I just got an idea. Why don't I turn towards the camera? How about this? <gasps> Nat and Yuri. Nat and Yuri? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. This whole game is Yuri. 
Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. All right, whose route are we going to choose this time? Uh, that know. way, everyone is even. Even Steven. Odd Just Todd. Just like Shia LaBeouf. Odd Todd. Oh, was he even Steven? Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um. Dot, dot, dot. Uh, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. No, it's, it's a not, shit Monica. idea. It's a shit idea. Fuck Last time off. that happened, someone died. Well, I think you're right, Monica. I think. I think. I think. Um, we should probably start finding activities. We really should. To participate in together. We really should. I did not okay, have dang. sexual relations with that woman. Was that Hank Hill being Bill Clinton? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I did decide to take the, the responsibility of vice president after all. I don't know any funny vice president voices. You could just be Cheney and be like, <laughs> I don't know what Cheney sounds like. I don't though. know what Cheney sounds like either. I just, I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. I don't remember what Joe Biden sounds like. I don't remember, I don't know what Pence sounds like either. I don't Besides, like now that we have a new member, Hey, now that we got a new member, it seems like a good step to take. Good step to take. take. <laughs> Yuri. <laughs> Do you agree as well, Volta? Volte. Volte. Hold on. <laughs> There's still one problem. Eh? Hey, eh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. Where the fuck is... I never said I would join this club. Where the Monica... fuck is Siri? Monica said, it may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my Shut up and just let us railroad you into this. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Well, only Natsuki looks dejected. The other two just look... Well, Yuri... Not Natsuki, sorry. Hey, Monica. Monica looks dejected. Natsuki looks vaguely unhappy, and Yuri is just like, oh, okay. Right. <laughs> but, but... But... but, 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 but. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I, just I thought. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. These girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to That's tell Monica, you the truth. That's Monica, dumbass. Walter. I know. <laughs> Don't Everyone's change just Hank Hill now. No, no. I like <laughs> Monica's dipshit valley girl. <laughs> I guess I need to tell you the truth, Volta. The thing is, we need four members to have an official club. Oh, I was right. I called it. We need far, and Sayori doesn't exist in this timeline, so. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members, but we just don't have any. No one thinks literature's cool. If we don't find one more fe member before the festival, mm. I'm gonna die. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for let everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay. Okay, I've decided then. Okay. I will join Here's the though. literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Man, Dan, Dan, it's Dan Salato. These jackets don't make any fucking sense. <laughs> this is bothering me again. <laughs> All right, look at look at Yuri's. Look yeah. at how the overlap, the the one that should be on the outside, does not overlap properly. The the lap, the lapel. You're right. <laughs> it makes no sense. It's, it's fucking annoying me. <laughs> yeah, I do. It could be fun, right? Did you really scare? You really scared me for a second. I really, I really, really wanted to live in this club. After all, I'd be super pissed. Balta, I'm so happy. I look so happy. We can become an official club now. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. Why don't you come over to today after four? My parents won't be home. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. 
Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Kill yourself. <laughs> Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Both, huh? Oh, I look right. forward to seeing how you express yourself. She's kind of tired. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? No! I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye-bye. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. With that, It'll I depart the great. club room and make my way home. The whole hmm. way, my mind waters back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. And Toad, so Luigi, and Peach. <laughs> So is he Mario now? There is no Mario. Mario is missing. <laughs> <laughs> will I really be happy spending every day in a school in a literature club? Probably perhaps, not. Perhaps I'll leave the chance to go closer to one of these girls. So we got, we got flat, double D's, and C's. <laughs> I'm All for right. Ed. Thanks. <laughs> I'm. I guess I would say that Sayuri had B's or A's. Uh, who knows. I'll just need to, t uh, to make the most of my circumstances, and sure, good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh boy, I can't wait. I have unlocked a special poem. Would I like to read it? Read it. Uh, okay. Yes. I, okay. It's gonna be spooky. Oh fuck! Hello. Aha! I was right. It you is spooked spooky. me. I have been bamboozled, game. All right. Well. Still no. <laughs> All right. Still well, no I guess in the next episode we'll uh, write a poem. Bye, everyone. <laughs>